When he first got the job, I tweeted this, and I stand by it. I think that Luke Walton was dealt a raw deal. Um, I definitely appreciated Steve Kerr's comments uh, about his friend, uh, his former subordinate and his assistant coach with Golden State, who filled in admirably when Steve Kerr was sick and got at the Warriors to, like, 23 or 24 straight wins to open the season in a 39-4 and record. And I'm definitely happy for Luke Walton. I think he deserves to be a head coach in this league um, and deserves to be given a good opportunity, which did not happen in L.A. as far as I'm concerned. But, damn, he had the job before he left the Lakers facility. I mean, do I have to be one? That, uh, do I need to start calling for a Rooney rule in basketball? I mean, see, this is stuff like this that really gets on my nerves because I'm going to say it again. This don't happen for black men. This don't happen for minorities, this kind of stuff. And somebody needs to say it, so damn it, I'm going to say it. The reality of the situation is that Luke Walton has won 40% of his games. Did he get screwed over in L.A.? Without question. I don't like what happened to him this year. And I'm happy he got the job. But you don't even leave the facility before you are in negotiations. Remember, it was actually true. Usually, Max, those things aren't true. When they say there was a mutual party, that was actually true here. Because he probably told the Lakers, I'm about to get this Sacramento job, so let me go so I can leave since y'all were talking about getting rid of me anyway. And obviously the Lakers obliged. That kind of stuff just bothers me. Matt, Doc Rivers was a champion when he left from the Boston Celtics to the Clippers. He had won a championship. And they had to give up compensation to the Celtics <clears throat> or, or the, you know, to, to, in order to get him to the Clippers. But you just get to leave and have something waiting for you when you've won 40% of your games. I don't like that. But the importance of the Rooney rule is to get people in front of uh, 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 people of color, in front of people who have the power to hire, because there's a good old boy network, and that can also include people of color, right? So, for example, um, Ty Lue's going to have another head coaching job, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. Monty Williams, you know, like they're, because they're in the network now. And you want to get more people in that kind of good old boy network. But they're competing with each other for an interview, Max. Yeah, uh, yeah but they're going to they're gonna get a job. Someone's going to get a job. And then the other one's probably also going to get a job in the future now that they're in that mix. If Luke Walton flames out in Sacramento, it's going to be a minute before he gets another head coaching job. But right now he's seen as a very good young coach that a team can grow with. And I agree. A p p t listen, did he have the Sacramento job before he lost, left the Lakers? Right. So what happens to a guy when the new regime comes in, if you're a head coach? You're probably going to get replaced, especially if the star player comes in and would prefer another coach. You're going to get replaced. So the Kings wisely said, ooh, De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald, Marvin Bagley III, oh, we're going to mm -hmm. grab this guy and install him as our coach. Mm -hmm. I think there will, look, if Nate McMillan lost his job and he wasn't hired immediately by someone, that would be a problem. Well, Max... He had lost his job years ago in Portland and wasn't hired immediately. But right, but after he had the job, serve, he just did. He had to in serve Indiana. as an yeah. assistant coach. Mark Jackson won 52 percent of his games overall in Golden State. Went 47 to 35 his second year in the job. 51 and 31 his third year in the job. Lost his job and can't uh, get. I want to stop right there. I want to discuss the Mark Jackson thing. There is a sense around the league that I, he prevented the Warriors from a dynasty given his offensive system. Time out. So it's it's it seems to be a consensus wait, wait, that wait. other teams don't want him as the yeah, head yeah, coach. Yeah, but, fairly or unfairly. But, but, yeah, but, but the, the key word is fairly or unfairly. But I don't think it's race based. Because, because, well, I'm not case. saying it is. I'm just simply saying I'm pointing out the discrepancy. The fact of the matter is it helps that Luke Walton is incredibly liked. Yeah. I like him. Most people like him. If you know anything about Luke Walton, he's impossible not to like. He's an incredibly good guy. And I think he got a raw deal in L.A. But it does help that there were people out there speaking up on his behalf as a person. When they get on Mark Jackson, even though you're right in terms of what people say, that's not what they're saying about Mark Jackson. What they're saying about Mark Jackson, they're questioning him and the person he was when he was the coach. Paranoid and culture that, and, 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 and all that. And, yeah. and, that, and that, that appears to be a pattern that happens with black coaches that don't happen with others. And I got a problem with that. Now, I, think, I think that's fair to say race has a, plays a part, even if it's unknowable. It's not a positive influence for the hiring chances of black men. I got no problem with Luke Walton getting a job. All no, the best of him. And it's I like just not Divac fair. Well. And you have I'm to, just saying, you have to my use your God. platform. I get it. He had a job before yeah. he left the building. Got it. I'd have hired him if I was Sacramento, too. All right. Well, At least let him walk out and take, take dinner or something. <laughs>